What is the difference between a data analyst and a data scientist? Well, there's a bit of a confusion as to what the difference is between them. So let's step inside for this one. I went over 100 job descriptions and I must have read over 50 different articles and white papers from reputable sources, including top notch universities. I thought, I thought that I knew what the difference between these two were, but let me tell you what I gained from researching on what others thought the differences were. I would like to preface that there's no one rule that's better than the other. What I would like you to take away from this video is how one role or the other would make more sense for the skills that you have or want to gain and what you would be more happy working as. Because in the end, isn't that what's important? So in this video, I'll go over the scope, the skills, the education and salary expectation for a data analyst and a data scientist. And we'll see which one is the right one for you. As I mentioned, I read over 100 job descriptions from LinkedIn, Indeed.com, Glassdoor and whatever I could find on Google. What did I gain out of it? Total confusion. Some were saying that the data analyst deals with big data frameworks and systems. Nah, I don't think so. Or the data scientists build data pipelines. Hmm, isn't that the role of a data engineer though? Or that data analysts just cleanse data and build reports. What? What? As Seinfeld was saying, Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. We need more of that, but no. And you know what? The job descriptions that I read, I think made things even worse. There was a total mishmash between the responsibilities of a data scientist, a data analyst, a data engineer, and even a BI developer. Let me tell you this, one data analyst job description even had data governance responsibilities in there. Now, I don't know if I should be upset about it or happy about it. There were also quite a few data sources that had overlaps as to what the responsibilities and skills of a data analyst versus a data scientist were. So let's start making some sense out of that so you can see what role would be better fit for you. Now let's bring on the visuals. Data analyst versus data scientist. And let's start by looking at the scope of data analytics and data science. The scope for a data analyst is said to be micro as they usually work with static data. So a snapshot of that data and generally tends to be structured data. On the other hand, the scope of a data scientist is said to be macro as they work more with dynamic data that can change frequently and whatever models and solutions they've built need to adapt on the fly. So yes, they're more likely to work with big data that's both structured and unstructured and that can have obviously high volume, velocity and variety. Please give me a thumbs up if you agree so far. For the data analyst, as I mentioned, the scope is said to be micro because it's limited to analytical techniques, mostly using statistical tools and techniques, usually in the realm of descriptive analysis. For data scientists, it also involves artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. Why the difference? Because a data analyst analyzes data to answer specific questions. Why sales dropped in a certain quarter? Why marketing campaign fare better in certain regions than others? How internal attrition affects revenue? Let's see what else. Where budget spending should be increased in order to get more return on investment? Or what's the number of leads that the sales efforts must generate to just fill the sales pipelines? And so on. Data analysis involves answering questions generated for better business decision making. Well, what about the data scientists? Well, the data scientist through data analysis also define new business questions and problems that lead to innovation and then uncovering the solutions to these new and unknown problems. Whew. So data scientists tend to already understand the company's requirements in order for them to formulate these new questions that need to be addressed. And these questions, by the way, can sometimes be answered by data analysts. Let me know what you think so far. Let's take another pass at it. The data analyst analyzes structured data, usually through the use of descriptive analysis or descriptive statistics. The data scientists work with structured and unstructured data and use various machine learning tools and algorithms to forecast and classify patterns in data 
and increase the performance and accuracy of these algorithms. So they are more on the predictive analytics and modeling side. They both also tend to do some data cleansing and data transformation. And it's probably that part of the job that both roles really complain about. The difference being that a data scientist tends to work with more complex data and raw data. And from a data science point of view, this could fall under data wrangling or data munging, but maybe that's another topic for another video. Well, here's something else that they both do. They both present and communicate their findings through the use of data visualization and data storytelling. And there are sources that state this is more on the data analyst side, but I think it belongs to both. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Hold on, I wanna pause this for a second. If you're disagreeing with anything that I've said, please do let me know. If you think I'm not describing this properly, again, please let me know. I mean, there's so many articles out there and resources out there that are also describing it a little bit differently. And I understand there's all these different nuances. So please, again, if you disagree with what I'm saying, let me know. Let's move on to the skills. The data analyst needs to know statistics, but I would rate the level of skills as intermediate. Whereas for the data scientist, oh, they need to be a little bit more advanced. They need to have more advanced knowledge of statistics and math. And from what I find, most data scientists tend to gravitate towards mathematics. Though of course, there are superstars that excel at both. Yes, don't get me wrong, the data analyst also needs to have some mathematical aptitude. As the data analyst works with structured data, they need to understand relational databases and have a knowledge of SQL or SQL or Squirrel. And believe it or not, they should also be well versed in using Excel. Data scientists should also know SQL, but also no SQL. Not no, no SQL. No, they should know SQL. NO SQL. Things such as MangoDB and Cassandra, as these no SQL databases have the ability to handle and scale dynamic data and big data. As for programming languages, Data analysts should have a basic knowledge and data scientists need to have more advanced knowledge of Python, R, maybe Julia, which is an upcoming language that's been touted as the successor of Python, maybe SAS, which is commonly used in the banking and financial sectors, maybe even Jupyter Notebooks, which is not a language, I know, but uh, just a web application that you can use to create and share documents that contain live code, equations, visualizations for your data analytics and data science projects. So all of these really depend on the company and the industry that you would work in and the technical environment that they have in place. A little bit more to add here on the data scientist side, if the focus is on deep learning, they might need to know of specific deep learning frameworks or if their focus is on AI, they might need to know some auto machine learning tools such as the ones that you're seeing right here. That being said, both of these roles should know how to utilize data visualization tools. So Tableau, Power BI, and Click, they are really, they tend to be the most popular tools out there for this purpose. Lastly, and maybe this goes without saying, but they both should be good at problem solving and they should also possess good communication skills or I should say strong communication skills, including data storytelling. Let's look at the education and experience for both roles. As I mentioned, I looked at over 100 job descriptions and the requirements can vary greatly. Here are some common denominators though. The requirements for a data analyst are for a bachelor degree at a minimum, desirably in a science field. And it's not uncommon to see that it's desirable to have a statistics or a mathematics background. On the other hand, for data scientists, they require having a master's degree. Again, at a minimum, usually mathematics or software engineering, machine learning, or computer programming. Some even ask for a PhD. As for the years of experience, as a data analyst, you could pass by with two years of previous experience and a data scientist with four or more. Again, these can oscillate depending on who is writing the job description. Let's move on to the cash component. As there is a difference in the qualifications required and the scope of the work, the same can also be said for the salary for both of these roles. The average salary of a data analyst in the US, at least according to Glassdoor, is around $66,000-$67,000 
per year. It should come to no surprise, given the scope of the work of a data scientist role, that they earn significantly more money than their data analyst counterparts. Again, Glassdoor has this averaged out as $113,000 a year. Which role is right for you? Well, let's step right outside. So what role is right for you? It ultimately comes down to what you want to do and what skills and experience you want to pursue. Whilst one role does earn a higher salary and requires a more in-depth skill set, neither can exist without the other. And both play integral roles for organizations when it comes to their data. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.